Hello, friends. In this video, we want to talk about the amazing mines of Afghanistan, which have recently attracted everyone's attention from England to China, Russia, Iran, and Japan, who all want to invest in this war torn and damaged country. You may now be asking yourself why these countries are interested in investing in a country that is run by a terrorist government. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Afghanistan is the eighth most mountainous country in the world. The mountainous nature of this country has limited access to many places. And of course, billions of treasures are buried in these mountains, the plan of which is in the hands of the Taliban. Now let's see what is the hidden treasure of this country. For more videos, please like and subscribe us. Thank you for supporting us. Afghanistan, which is in the heart of the Asian continent, is considered one of the strongest countries in the world in terms of mineral reserves. The natural resources of this country are still untouched. According to estimates, 2.2 billion tons of iron, which is the most consumed metal in the world, is available in this country. Let's make it more understandable with the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is 324 meters and 7,300 tons of iron are used in it. With the iron available in Afghanistan, you can build 200,000 Eiffel Towers, and all these 2.2 billion tons of iron are available in the Hajigag mine and in only one city of Afghanistan. About 83 billion tons of the world's second most consumed metal, aluminum, is under the Taliban's feet. More than 12.4 million tons, 243,200 tons of lead, 32,234 tons of mercury, and 2,498 kilograms of gold can be mined under this soil. The next item is construction materials, which is more than 1.3 billion tons of marble, more than 503 million tons of limestone, which is very useful in the construction industry and other useful stones. The report of the Ministry of Mines and Oil of Afghanistan announced that the value of Afghanistan's untouched mines is equivalent to one trillion dollars, one by 12 to zero. Even the former ambassador of Iran, who has visited many cities in Afghanistan, says that Afghanistan can give charity to the world with all these mines. Afghans have more wealth than all of Saudi Arabia, only their lithium is more than Saudi oil reserves. In Afghanistan, every mountain you open, there is wealth. From limestone to marble, copper, lithium, barium, uranium has all these. All the stones that you know about, Afghanistan has all these stones. Afghans have more wealth than all of Saudi Arabia. Only their lithium is more than Saudi oil reserves. Now we want to introduce you to some of the pure truths about the general mines of Afghanistan. One, it is said that the amount of lithium reserves in Afghanistan is equal to the amount of oil reserves in Saudi Arabia. Three, the total gas reserves of Afghanistan are worth more than $1 trillion. Four, Afghanistan's copper reserves are equal to the world's largest copper mine located in Chile. Five, they could not estimate the value of uranium and gold reserves due to their abundance. Six, Iran had paid $2 billion for Afghanistan in 1350 due to the entry of Afghan water into that country. But now, billions of cubic meters of water are being poured into that country without any cost or payment. Seven, Pakistan uses 19 billion cubic meters of Afghanistan's water, worth $38 billion for free every year. Eight, Iran uses Afghanistan's water with an additional value of $20 billion without any kind of payment. Afghanistan has countless mines, and some of the country's mines are world famous. And since thousands of years ago, Egyptians have used the lapis lazuli of this land in the eyes of the statues of Akhenaten 
and Queen Nefertiti. In Afghanistan, there are various reserves of oil, coal, gas, iron, emerald, copper, gold, glass, silver, ruby, and turquoise. Most of these mines have not been extracted so far. Although some of the mines of this country have been mined, and since the distant past, lapis lazuli, gold, and salt were mined in Badakhshan, copper, and iron in Kandahar and Kabul. But still, there are many mines in Afghanistan that have remained untouched until now. The untouched resources in Afghanistan have caused the international community to pay special attention to Afghanistan. And one of the reasons for the war in Afghanistan is the existence of valuable mines. Afghanistan's mining reserves are the biggest hope for the growth and development of this country's economy so that Afghanistan can use this opportunity to achieve economic independence and get rid of economic dependencies. This poor country has an unemployment rate of 43%. About 81% of the people of this country are farmers and the rest, including 11% in industry, mostly weaving, and 9% in services. According to the statistics of 2004, 15 million people are working in this country. The inflation rate in this country is 16.3% in 2005 and 17% in 2006, according to forecasts. According to the report of the New York Times, Bolivia is currently the largest exporter of lithium in the world, while Afghanistan's lithium reserves are equal to Bolivia's lithium reserves. Lithium metal is used in rechargeable battery parts, such as phone batteries, computer batteries, car batteries, and electronic devices. The U.S. Department of Defense has announced that Afghanistan's lithium mines are so large that they can be compared to the oil reserves of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Opaque diamonds and yellow, green, and reddish colors have been found in some parts of the country, which are said to be of even higher quality and more valuable than African diamonds if their mines are found and extracted. Afghanistan has approximately 68, 500 million tons of copper. Anak Copper Mine in Logar Province is one of the largest mines in the country which is considered the second mine in the world, and its reserves are about 11 million tons. Also, General David Petraeus, the former commander of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff in Afghanistan, told the New York Times in 2009 that Afghanistan's mines are stunning, and these mines can definitely change Afghanistan's conditions. They wrote about this. You may be surprised to hear this sentence, but this is a big fact. The American Mineralogical Association sent its experts to Afghanistan a few years ago, and they returned to their country with strange statistics. After several years of research and study, these experts estimated that the total value of Afghanistan's mines is equivalent to $1 trillion and $500 billion. The Chinese company Gochin has said that if the contract for Afghanistan's lithium mines is entrusted to this company, it wants to invest $10 billion in these mines.